a is an allegory for Satan, and comes from Saturn, which is Kronos. He used to eat his children, pedophilia, cannibalism, sexuality, fertility, all comes from Kronos in this Saturnalia death cult. Now Saturnalia is getting ready to start. The Pope Mario Bergoglio, his birthday is December 17th, which is Saturnalia. General Africantis from the Africantis bloodline went to Africa and perfected the adrenochrome molecule to take back to Rome for the Saturnalia festivals. We are still today handing our children over to Moloch. That's what it symbolizes, handing your child over to Santa. In his red and white colors that he wears equals 666. Just like Santa Claus, Xmas tree, happy Christmas, and fa la 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 666. It's all tied to the beast. Idolatry. Learn not the way of the nations. A tree from the forest is cut down and worked with the axe by the hands of the craftsmen. They decorate it with silver and gold. That was Jeremiah 10. And we know it also represent, represents the phallusk. Uh, Nimrod's phallusk, which is what the obelisk represents as well. Just like on Easter, when they got you going around finding the Easter eggs, that represents Nimrod's testicles. That's a fertility holiday of Ishtar. Lent, Halloween, the Trinity, Valentine's Day, title Lord, which comes from Baal, the cross, Sunday worship, infant baptism, Good Friday, Easter, all come from Nimrod. With, Nim with Nimrod... Samiris and Tammuz. His mother was Queen Samiris that he had a child with, little baby Tammuz. That's where we get the Trinity. It's paganism. On December 25th, people believe that they are celebrating the birth of Christ, when in fact they are glorifying the birth of Nimrod, also known as Moloch or Baal, Beelzebub who we would offer our children up into a fire ritual where they would be burnt in the furnace of Moloch or Baal in these fire fertility rituals. Sol Invictus was the pagan Roman sun god that would be worshipped on the 25th. So you're putting your energy into Satan, to Lucifer, to Saturn. See that no one takes you captive through philosophies and empty deception according to the tradition of men, the basic principles of the world rather than the Messiah. And here we see the Christmas tree, the phallus, uh, the reef is the vagina, the bow is the blood that drips, the truth is what matters, guys. And while the first settlers of the nations were believers and followers of the Messiah, they did not observe Christmas. It was outlawed in all 13 colonies because it was based on paganism. The tree is literally the phallus. It represents the penis and the little tensils represented the sperms. I'm not joking. I know it sounds crazy, but this is a fact. And this is why I tell my brothers and sisters, that symbolism is what matters. Symbolism controls the world for not the laws of man. Why is that? It's what something symbolizes. And we are taking this energy into our home when we celebrate this and we throw a Christmas tree up. Look, I'm not telling you not to do it. Do whatever you feel is right in your heart. But it has nothing to do with Yahshua. That's his true name. There was no J's, J's in the Aramaic language. His name is Yahshua. Um, and he was really born on 9-11. This is why they mock that day so much and do so many rituals around 9-11. Both temples in Jerusalem fell with numerology of 9-11. The Twin Towers 9-11. 
We had Rona 19, 19 years after 9-11, after the 19 hijackers, which chaos is 19. Knowledge is power. Become the glitch in the matrix. Tommy Truthful, out.